Hey everybody, this is Will with Carolina Thread Place, and today we are going to be talking about a website. Do you need it? Why do you need it? And what should you do to get one? Before we get started today, today's letter is going to be R. The letter R. So I'm going to tell you this first so I don't forget later. So websites, what are they? A website is a is a non-physical item that people can search on the web. Obviously, this is a website you're watching this on. So, something that is something that is available for you. I know that's a little mumble jumble there, but that's totally fine. I apologize about that. You all know about my website, CarolinaThreadPlace.com, and also have an Etsy shop, a store in me, Amazon, I sell on Amazon and Facebook all together. So, why is it <clears throat> important to have this information or these platforms? Well, if you do not want to ship items anywhere in the world or anywhere in the country, then you don't really need one if you just want to do events, and that's it. That's totally fine. Well, the good thing about a website is it allows you to have residual income. What is residual income? You have your items on a website. People look at it. They buy it. Just like yesterday, I sold some thread. <clears throat> yes, I still have to do everything that I would normally do at an event, buy the, buy the items. But instead of just handing them to the customer, I put them in a box. I walk, I take them to my local um, post office, put it in a box, and it gets shipped to the customer. So there's a little extra, a few extra steps that you have to do to make it work. But the thing about it is you reach a broader scale of people. So what does that mean? If you just want to ship in the 48 states, you can. I ship in North America. I do not ship out of North America yet. I'm working on it. But... Um, sorry about that. I had a yawn. I tried not to do it on camera. <laughs> so, I go through Shopify. And I don't know if there's a referral for it. If there is, I'll put it in the link below. Yep, I'll put it in the link below if there's a referral so that y'all can... Click on that and get something, and I get something for the thing as well. <clears throat> there is so many more things out there. If you are a web developer, you can build your own. I am I'm actually a web developer, but I love the convenience of Shopify. They're not paying me to say this. I, they are not an affiliate. I'm not affiliate of Shopify, but I love their setup. Now... <clears throat> When I'm at an event, I use Square, which is awesome as well. Um, but everyone has their own preferences when it comes to a website, how easy it is. Some people just want to be on Etsy itself and just leave it alone or Store Envy or just sell on Amazon or through the Facebook Marketplace or the 300 other different things that are out there. Now, what, is, what does it mean to have a website? Just a standalone website like mine is carolinathreadplace.com. Well, people won't know it's there unless you advertise. And we're going to go over that tomorrow about advertising your business. But for right now, you need to drive traffic to your website. So that's something that, you know, some other things have, in, you know, have it better, like Etsy. You know, that's part of their fees. Fees go towards advertising, but then you have to, you're competing with all these other people on the same exact product or type of product or group of products. So you got to think about that as well. So yes, it's a good to have um, an Etsy shop, but at the same time, you're competing with a lot more people in one small thing. It's pretty much like a vendor craft fair with a few million people who is selling crafts that they make. Not fully. Etsy does allow 
pre-made stuff now as well. Not a great business model, but you know, it's their shop, it's their website. So with that being said, I'm gonna end this video about websites. Like I said, it's this one's gonna be this one's a very easy one. Just this plays into tomorrow's video, which is actually advertising. Um, this is just real quick about you know about having a website and stuff. Um, I did have I do have a video where I actually go through Shopify and how to set it up and stuff. Um, I am going to be working on a video about Etsy and I have to actually open up another shop on Etsy in order to do that because there's so much data um, that's viewed in the back office about my customers that I do not want to show on camera. So I will be creating a new um, Etsy and I'll be doing that I think live so that we can actually, not live, but in a video so y'all can see the step-by-step -step process. Now, of course, it's newer than when I set up my shop a few years ago, but you will got, you guys will actually get to see step-by-step -step on how to do it, and we'll learn together. But until then, be sure to like this video if you have not. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not either. Um, I gave y'all the letter of the day already, so we're good to go there. Um, the, this series of videos for this week is great for anybody who is doing anything that will would like to grow their business or get basic information on how to start a business and do like web sales and stuff, like especially this video. <clears throat> so, or this whole week to actually how to start a business with some basic information, the legality I will not deal with um, this week. But this will lead to a different video, potentially. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comments below. Um, and be sure to look at, watch the other videos to get the letters of the day and stuff like that. Some amazing information has been going out this month. It's hard to believe I've, this is the uh, gonna be the 21st video of the month. I have. I'm almost done with these so but until then you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with advertising bye